And Jerome submitted a, a 6 2, which is a bit against the rules, not against the rules, but well. Um, but this has a specific reason to it. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and we're here in the French Alps. This is um, shot during my altitude training camp. If you missed the first um, vlog episode about my altitude training camp, if you want to see a bit how this is going, um, you can see it here, upper right hand corner. I'll put the, the link towards the video uh, that I published last weekend about the first part of my altitude training camp in Switzerland. Um, this is episode four of our uh, shoe rotations series. And just so you know, I closed the form uh, for now at least. I got lots of answers and it doesn't make much sense to uh, get the answers and publish the video only a couple months after the, the rotation was submitted because maybe in the meantime um, people's rotation would change. So this is the reason why the form is, is closed. Thanks to all of you who submitted um, the answers. I sent the email asking for the pictures to all of you. You may want to check both your inbox and the spam folder because uh, maybe my email went there. I didn't get the pictures for uh, some people that submitted the uh, rotations very early on. So I guess that's, that's one of the reasons why. Um, do check the, the spam folder and maybe my email is uh, there. All right, today we're looking at five rotations and the first one was submitted by Sam from the USA. Uh, the first shoe that Sam submitted is the Nike Vaporfly in Next Percent um, 2020 Olympic colorway, very nice and Sam uses it for racing and threshold. Second shoe submitted by Sam is the ASICS um, Nova Blast from 2020, 300 miles on it. Um, and based on the, the color of the midsole, you can see that this shoe went through some um, work, which is great. Um, third shoe submitted by Sam, and Sam uses the Nova Blast, sorry, for long runs, interesting. Uh, third shoe submitted by Sam is the Sakoni Endorphin Speed 2020. It has 75 miles on it. Um, and Sam uses it for tempo sessions and thresholds as well. Fourth shoe is the Sakoni Endorphin Shift. Um, I really like this colorway. I think we already had it for uh, the Endorphin Speed, I think, in the previous video. Um, very nice one and Sam uses it for recovery runs and easy runs. This is great. This is how I was using this shoe um, before getting the Puma Magnify. If you haven't seen the, the review of the Magnify, I'll try to remember and put the link here, upper right hand corner. Um, 100 miles on the Endorphin Shift uh, for Sam. And fifth and last shoe for Sam is the Hoka Mac 4 from 2021, 75 miles on it. And this is pretty much a shoe that Sam uses for um, many different things. And that's, that's you know, one of the, the great advantages of the Hoka Mac 4. It's a very versatile shoe. Sam uses it for easy days, long runs, tempo runs. So um, lots of different purposes. It looks like, you know, Sam, Sam's rotation is very well balanced. Um, some easy day shoes, some uh, shoes that are meant for tempo, threshold, um, a plated shoe with the neck percent. I, I quite like this rotation. Thanks a lot, Sam, for submitting it. Second rotation we're looking at today is the rotation submitted by, um, and I'm really sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, Mikaya. Um, Mikaya submitted three shoes from, I believe, the USA. Um, first shoe submitted by Mikaya is uh, the, hold on a second, yeah. Um, Puma Velocity Nitro, very nice, 32 miles on it. Uh, and this is Mikaya's everyday trainer and um, yeah, easy, easy runs, two to six miles at an average pace of eight to nine minutes per mile. I mean, yeah, this is, this is exactly how I would use the Velocity Nitro. This is a perfect everyday trainer um, and a very successful one for 2021. Second shoe submitted by Mikaya is the Puma Deviate Nitro. Um, so two Pumas and, and that's, that's great. I mean, 2021 is maybe Puma's year, who knows. Um, 36 miles on it. And this is uh, the shoe that Mikaya uses for weekly long runs. And um, so somewhere between eight to 13 miles at an easy pace as well. But, um, but this is a great choice as well for long runs. 
The fact that there's a plate in the DV8 Nitro saves a bit the calves and that, you know, that acts as a lever. So the calves and the, um, the, the joints are a bit less used, um, which is a good idea to, to go for um, in, in long runs. Third and last shoe submitted by Mikayas, and this is, um, this is a three shoe rotation, which is quite interesting. I think it's the first one we have. So maybe that's some inspiration for you out there looking for a three shoe rotation. New Balance Rebel V2 2021, 30 miles on it. And this is Mikayas um, tempo, interval, and quicker pace run. Mikayas is not the first person using um, their Rebel V2 for um, higher paces. I, I am quite intrigued by this. I, again, I wouldn't use the Rebel V2 for that, but, um, but this is quite interesting. And Mikaya says as well that um, they use the, the Rebel V2 also for everyday runs um, if they are planning to uh, push the pace uh, down to 6.30 to 7.30 minutes per mile. Very interesting. Thanks a lot, Mikaya, and thanks for submitting this rotation, one plated shoe, one shoe that is a bit softer, um, the, quite softer, the Rebel V2, and an everyday trainer with the, the Velocity Nitro. Very well balanced rotation, I uh, do like it as well. Um, third rotation submitted by um, Jérôme, Jérôme in, in said in, in French, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, Jérôme, Jérôme, sorry. Uh, but Jérôme is from Germany, so I guess it's not pronounced the French way. First shoe submitted by Jerome is the Nike React Infinity Run Flyknit 1, 2020, 250 kilometers on it. This is Jerome's uh, daily trainer for uh, shorter distances up to 12 kilometers. And um, yeah, Jerome says that the shoe has too much cushion in the back and is a bit lifeless in the forefoot. Um, quite interesting for an assessment. I do share some of, of Jerome's views here. Um, but yeah, quite interesting. For Jerome, this is um, a shoe that is meant for paces between 4.45 per kilometer uh, up to 6 minutes per kilometer, so somewhere in that 7.30 to 9 minutes per mile, I guess. Second shoe submitted by Jerome, this is the first time we're having this shoe in this series. It's the ASICS Glide Ride V1 from 2020, 450 kilometers on it. Uh, same here, daily trainer and also long runs on the road for um, Jerome. Um, yeah, uh, the, Jerome says that the rolling forward is effortless and, um, and that gives a very nice toe spring uh, and also no problems with overpronation uh, thanks to the bow legs. So quite, quite interesting. Um, and um, yeah, Jerome also says that it's too bulky for faster stuff. Quite interesting, I don't know this shoe, so I have very little comments on it, um, but apparently at 450 kilometers, this is a shoe that Jerome has used quite a bit. Third shoe submitted by Jerome, it's the um, Rebel V1. Interesting, first time we're having this one. The Rebel V2 is uh, hugely popular and we had it a lot of time. Um, Rebel V1 that Jerome uses for daily training, tempo rounds, interval threshold, and racing, pretty much everything is covered by the Rebel V1. Uh, lightweight and nimble, peppy cushion, says uh, Jerome, and um, it feels best between three minutes per kilometer, so around five minutes per mile, up to five minutes per kilometer. That's around um, 8.30 per mile. Quite interesting and seems to be a very, very versatile shoe. Um, fourth shoe, and it's a trail shoe. Thanks, Jerome, for submitting a trail shoe. New Balance Fresh from Hero V5 from 2020, 260 kilometers on it. And this is uh, what Jerome calls a door to trail shoe, a uh, best cushion ever. And um, it's soft but has enough bounce to pick up the pace, very versatile and comfortable. Jerome says he can do everything with it. Um, and also quite interesting, Jérôme says that it's going to be his choice to um, climb the Mont Ventoux, which is a, a huge mountain uh, that is, I think, has its summit around 2,300 meters. I don't remember, I climbed it last year, but that was with my bike. Um, it's, a, it's a famous one for, for cyclists, but apparently there's also a race or maybe a hike uh, up Mont Ventoux um, with the um, on the trails for runners, 
quite interesting. And so Jerome is going to use this one. So it's a soft cushion shoe, but also has some, uh, some response. Very interesting. And this is a shoe that may be interesting for me to test here out on the trail if I manage to find it. Thanks Jerome for submitting it. Fifth shoe, um, and this is a nice one because it has some boa laces that are very famous for um, many different stuff, especially for cyclists like me. Uh, we use them on our cycling shoes. Some running shoes have them as well. Uh, it's the case for Jerome's uh, ASICS Gel Fujirado from 2018. 560 kilometers on it. Um, it's good for Jerome's faster and more technical uh, runs. Not enough cushion in the forefoot, so it doesn't go away beyond 20 uh, kilometers, but it's a nice shoe. And um, I'm also quite intrigued because I'm, I'm looking at the Speedland shoe, uh, which is, you know, the sort of innovation uh, shoe that, that is um, that recently released. And it has also those, those Boas. This is a Boa V1. The Speedland has Boas V2, um, but very interesting. And Jerome submitted the uh, six shoe which is a bit against the rules, not against the rules, but well. Um, but this has a specific reason to it, and it's because uh, the sixth shoe that Jerome is submitting is uh, one that Jerome saw in the second, I guess, episode or first episode of the shoe rotation series. It's the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, and Jerome heard from Alain757 that this shoe was working nicely for uh, people looking for some stability, who have um, overpronation, and Jerome decided to give it a go, and apparently it works well for him. Jerome says to me um, in his email, thanks a lot, Jerome, for, uh, for this, and thanks also to Alan757 for submitting this shoe in his rotation. Um, it's thanks to you that, that Jerome uh, tried this one and apparently enjoys it. So this is great. Um, all right, we're looking now at Stefan's um, uh, rotation uh, from Denmark. Uh, first time we're having someone from Denmark uh, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, people from Denmark are also on the channel. Let me open the pictures. Here we go. Um, all right. First shoe submitted by Stefan. It's the Soconi Endorphin Speed 2020, 300 miles on it. And this is Stefan's Tempo and um, Speedwork shoe. Uh, great choice here. Second shoe, Nike Invincible. 2021, 200 miles on it, I guess. It says only 200, but I guess this is, these are miles. Easy runs, recovery, and sometimes long, which is interesting because, um, yeah, I wouldn't use it for long stuff. I think it's a bit too dangerous and in, it, it can cause some um, soreness and, and maybe injuries for some people over a certain distance. But if it works well for you, Stefan, that's, that's good to hear and maybe some other people can um, relate. Third shoe submitted by Stefan, um, a Nike Dragonfly 2021 Olympic Callway, 20 miles on it, track sessions, obviously. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that because we will have very shortly a review of the Dragonfly or, and I don't know yet, um, a comparison between the Dragonfly and some other long distance spikes, um, which is quite exciting, I think. Um, very nice Stefan Dragonfly. Four shoe, New Balance, Fuel Cell RC Elite V2, the original colorway purple. I, I like this shoe and um, Stefan uses it for fart legs um, and also for faster long runs. It's um, a great way to use it and that's pretty much the way I'm using it as well. Um, yeah, I, I quite like it. This is a, this is a nice shoe and maybe the best um, long distance plated trainer, if that makes sense, for this year. Um, fifth and last shoe submitted by Stefan, it's the Nike Alpha Fly 2020 Olympic colorway um, from last year, the cancelled Olympics, 50 miles on it. And uh, this is Stefan's racing shoe from the half marathon distance up to the marathon distance. Um, yeah, this is a very nice rotation. Um, but if I may, um, I, I can imagine Stefan has more shoes because here we have lots of plated racing oriented shoes. Um, yeah, maybe the Endorphin Speed isn't a, a racing oriented shoe for some people, only a trainer. Um, but lots of plated shoes and only the Invincible as an easy day option, um, which, is, which is fine. I mean, for some people, and that's also the reason why this series exists, 
Um, maybe some people can take some inspirations from Stefan's rotation. But, um, but yeah, this is my, my only comment. Other than that, fantastic shoes and many thanks Stefan for um, submitting them. Last rotation we're looking at today um, was submitted by Phil from the Netherlands. And um, stay tuned because this is where uh, things are getting very interesting for people looking for some um, stability. And I think also Phil, if I remember well from his email, um, is quite tall and um, not necessarily very heavy, but on the heavier side of, of things. Um, so stability plus, um, you know, a bit of maybe overweight, we can call it, or at least a, a, a bigger body um, size um, can, can be uh, interesting for people having the same um, characteristics as Phil. So first shoe submitted by Phil is the True Motion Utec Nevos um, from 2020, 2020 and I think Steph, uh, Phil got a second one in 2021, I believe. Um, and this shoe, he took it to 1000 kilometers on the first version and I think now on the second one he has, and this is the picture we have here, if I remember well, 200 kilometers. Um, this is the shoe that Phil uses for daily long recovery runs and um, pretty much the majority of, of his runs. Um, so um, yeah, he also says that he has three of them in his rotation and only retires them after 1000 kilometers. Very, very interesting. And it's the first time I'm actually hearing about True Motion, if I'm being honest here. Um, so this is great. And we have three True Motion shoes, so stay tuned for that. Second one submitted by Phil is the True Motion Utec Aeon um, from October 2020, 270 kilometers on it. And this is um, the shoe that uh, Phil uses for uh, very long, slower runs from 20 kilometers up to the marathon distance. Uh, very interesting here as well. Then we have the True Motion Utec Solo uh, from, uh, it's a very fresh one, July 2021. 35 kilometers on it and um, this is one this is the one uh, Phil uses for intervals so I mean very interesting because True Motion seems to have an offering of shoes that that can go from um, very easy very slow paces which is great up to intervals um, I mean you know if if you share the same um, the same characteristics and the same um, body sizing as Phil does uh, Please feel free to, to you know, reach out to Phil in the comments. I'm sure he will be very happy to answer to you because you know, True Motion is, is not a very famous brand and uh, it's amazing, literally amazing to hear from people who have uh, good experience with different brands. Um, so yeah, reach out to Phil in the comments and I'm, I'll be looking at the comments very with very much um, interest to, to learn myself a bit more about True Motion. Four shoes submitted by Phil, it's the Nike um, Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent. 2020, 380 kilometers on it. It went through some mud based on the picture and that's fantastic. It's a versatile shoe for sure in terms of, of grip at least. Phil uses it for speed work and intervals, which is um, great. Last but not least, uh, and I think it's the first time we're having this one in the, um, in the series, it's the Adidas Adizero Adios Pro 2, a shoe that I myself enjoy a lot. Very stable option and I'm sure this is one of the reasons why uh, Phil picked it. Speed work for Phil in it and hopefully he says uh, racing down the road. Amazing rotation, thanks a lot Phil, thanks to um, the five subscribers who submitted their rotations today. Um, yeah, I mean, I love this series and uh, I'm learning myself a lot. I hope you can get some inspiration from uh, what people um, use, from what they like and from what, um, you know, how they combine the shoes in their rotations. Anyways, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this fourth episode of the series. I'm headed outside right now in the mountains for some um, trail run in a new trail running shoe that will be reviewed, I think, this week on the channel. Stay tuned for that. Um, thanks a lot for being with us. Don't hesitate to subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. We're very close to the 2000 subscriber milestone, which is mind-blowing and makes me very happy. Enjoy your run today, enjoy your ride if you're headed on the bike. Go beyond your limits and most importantly, take care. Bye-bye.